The UK's armed forces are in line for their biggest transformation in decades. The Prime Minister wants to restore the nation's position as the foremost naval power in Europe, with more investment to build frigates at Rosyth and on the Clyde. He announced an extra £4 billion a year for defence over the next four years to modernise and prepare for future threats. This will spur a renaissance of British shipbuilding across the UK. In Glasgow and Recife, Belfast, Appledore and Birkenhead. Guaranteeing jobs and illuminating the benefits of the union in the white light of the arc welder's torch. Boris Johnson said his announcement could create 10,000 jobs a year. Labour pointed to an £8 billion fall in defence spending over the past decade and questioned where the money will come from. Will the commitments he's made require additional borrowing, mean tax rises, if so, which ones, or will the money have to come from other departmental budgets? The SNP sought a guarantee over the future of the Black Watch. In our submission to the Integrated Defence Review, we've put forward sensible suggestions on how to meet the modern-day threat picture, but not to the detriment of our historic regiments in Scotland. I ask the Prime Minister today, will he rule out scrapping the Black Watch and cuts to yeah. international aid spending? And of course we're going to guarantee the, uh, the Black Watch. Uh, the DFID will remain in East Kilbride. The Ministry of Defence will also establish a new Space Command in Scotland, capable of launching its first rocket in 2022. There will also be more investment in a national cyber force and the creation of an agency dedicated to artificial intelligence. However, the precise details of how the money will be spent are yet to be announced.